in this video, sisimulan natin ang ating discussion about antiderivative. So, let's have the function. Let's say, meron tayong function y equals 3x. Then, kunin natin yung derivative ng function na yan. So, yung derivative nyan will be dy over dx equals 3. And usually, kapag kukunin natin yung antiderivative, ang ginagawa natin, inaayos muna natin yung equation na to, yung dx ay ilalagay natin sa kabila. So, magiging dy equals 3 dx. Okay? Then next, mula dito, kinukuha natin yung antiderivative. So, for antiderivative, we have y equals 3x plus c. So, sir, paano natin nakuha to? Okay, so yung process ng pagkuha natin ng antiderivative ay didiscuss lang natin sa mga susunod na video. But then, kapag kinuha natin yung antiderivative nito, that will be y equals 3x plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. Now, let's say yung C natin, ilet natin na 0. Okay, so ano yung mangyayari sa antiderivative natin? Magiging y equals 3x. And as you can see, from antiderivative, naging same lang siya doon sa original function natin. Okay? So, yun yung relationship ng derivative and antiderivative. So, from function, kinuha yung derivative. Tapos, nung kinuha natin yung antiderivative, so, kaya niyang bumalik sa function. Kung baga, from derivative, binabalik natin siya sa function. Okay? Now, kung ang derivative, ang process natin ng pagkuha ng derivative ay differentiation, So, ang process naman ng pagkuha natin ng antiderivative ay anti-differentiation or gagamit na tayo ng bagong term which is integration. Okay, so yung word na integration, yan yung madalas na natin gagamitin instead of antiderivative, uh, anti-differentiation. And instead of antiderivative, ang gagamitin natin term ay integral. Okay? Now, so yun yung relationship ng differentiation and anti-differentiation. So kung sa differentiation, sa derivative, kumbaga parang forward process siya, yung anti-derivative, backward process na siya. Kung sa derivative or sa differentiation, pinupunit mo yung papel, sa anti-differentiation, binubuo mo ulit yung papel na napunit mo. Okay, so yun yung relationship ng differential calculus and integral calculus. So let's define antiderivative. Large f is an antiderivative of small f if the derivative of large f is equal to small f. So for example, Let's say, ang large F natin, which is equal to x cubed plus 4x plus c, is an antiderivative of small f natin, which is, let's say, 3x squared plus 4. Since, kapag kukunin natin yung derivative netong large F, that will be, ano yung derivative nito? That is 3x squared plus 4, derivative ng constant, that is 0. This is equal to our small f. Okay? Okay. So, take note that an antiderivative is not unique. So, for example, yung y equals 3x is an anti derivative of 
3. Okay? Since derivative nito is 3. But, yung y equals 3x plus 1, antiderivative din siya ng 3. Tama? Kasi kapag kinuha mo yung derivative nito, 3 din ang lalabas. And also, y equals 3x minus 1. So, napakarami niyan. Is 3. Antiderivative din siya ng 3. Since, derivative nito is ito rin. Okay? At napakadami niyan. Napakaraming antiderivatives nito. Okay? So, that means, yung antiderivative is not unique. So, ang tawag natin sa bawat isa nito, a particular antiderivative. So, particular antiderivative. At kapag naman, y equals 3x plus c, so ito naman, where c is an arbitrary constant, ito naman yung general antiderivative. So, kaya tayo laging naglalagay ng c kapag kinukuha natin yung integral or antiderivative. Okay, so mula sa mga susunod na video, ang gagawin na, na ang gagamitin na nating notation will be this symbol, then f of x dx for the given. So usually makikita nyo yung given ay kamukha na nito. Equals ang makikita naman nating sagot ay another function then merong plus c. Okay? So ang tawag dito sa parang bulati na yan ay integral sign so integral sign then ang tawag dito sa f of x dx ay integrand then ang tawag sa dx ay variable of integration ok then ang tawag naman dito sa c ay constant of integration of integration then ang tawag dito sa buong to will be the anti derivative okay then meron tayong mag uh, meron tayong pagbabago sa mga term instead of anti differentiation So, ang gagamitin kong term ay integra uh, integration. Okay, yung process. So, same lang yan. Anti-differentiation and integration. Then, instead of anti-derivative, ang gagamitin kong term ay integral. Okay? So, ito lang yung mga dapat nating malaman bago tayo magsimula sa ating lesson. Thank you.